Hi everyone, on this episode we're going to be having a look at the brand new Pulsar XQ50 handheld thermal spotter. Welcome to the Night Vision Show. Okay, so I got a box today through from Scott Country International, which is always a pleasure. Uh, and in that box was the Pulsar XQ50 thermal handheld spotter. Um, what I'm going to do this evening is take you through um, what's in the box, what you get with the spotter when it comes. I'll talk you through some of the differences between this one, the previous model, uh, the XD50S. Uh, and then we're going to see if we can find some, uh, some wildlife to look at through the spotter. Uh, just in case we can't find any wildlife, I brought with me the Night Vision Show dog. This is Lexi. Say hello. Yep. Well done. Um, so yeah, let's have a look and see what we get in the box. So, stay there. This is the box as it comes uh, from Scott Country or any other supplier. And uh, very understated packaging as always. Inside the box is your spotter in a case. Um, and that is all you're going to get when you get it. So let's have a look and see what's in the case. So as we open the case up, we've got the, uh, the spotter immediately visible in there. Um, I can see an instruction manual too. And then there's a front pocket, which is, by the feel of it, got some little bits inside it. Um, so this is the spotter. Much the same design as the, the XD50. Um, it's got a, one extra button on it um, at first glance. Um, and that one has a little cross on it there, and I'm led to believe that is the, the new rangefinder button. Um, so on the previous model, you had to go through your menus to access the rangefinder, and on this one, it's actually got a dedicated button towards it. Uh, but other than that, the design has remained largely unchanged, still really lightweight, still really robust, um, and just generally a lovely piece of equipment. Um, I'll take you through the actual spotter and how it works in a minute. We'll just see what else we get in the, in the packaging. So, in the front pocket, Got a few little items um, all wrapped up in packaging. So this uh, is a car charger uh, for charging the device in the car, funnily enough. What else we got here? So we've got two leads in here. This one will just put power in, and this one will put power in and video out. So you know you have the option, if you're not looking to record your video, then you can just go with the power in um, and make your kit a lot neater. If you still want to use both, you still have that option. What else we've got? This is the, uh, the remote control uh, that you can use all the functions on the uh, spotter by remote should you wish. And we've got a uh, little wrist strap, which is always handy, and also a spare battery carrier. So that's everything you get in there other than the manual, uh, which we will be having a good read of later, I'm sure, um, and a little cleaning cloth in the, in the case as well. It's a, uh, a lovely case to keep your kit in. It is a rather expensive piece of equipment. Um, when, once you've bought it, you are going to want to look after it. So it's nice to have a decent case to keep it in. So the design of the actual spotter then, um, much the same as the previous design uh, and not dissimilar to the, the model before that, the HD uh, series. Um, but let's have a little look and see, see what we're looking at. So on the top then, um, we've got our power button um, and the power on this particular model uh, is absolutely fantastic. When you switch it on, it has a two second start up time. Um, so there's no Pulsar logo, there's no, nothing else to happen. You literally turn it on and it is ready to go. Uh, we've got this button with a square on it here and that deals with um, going through the various zoom ranges and we'll talk through those zoom ranges uh, a little later. Uh, your range finder button and then on the back here, you've got where your batteries go. Um, so to get the battery pack out, we just simply slide this uh, switch across pull the batteries out and there we can see we've got our uh, carrier for four AA batteries. Uh, we're using lithium batteries here, uh, we find they, uh, they give you the best power output for the longest amount of time. Um, obviously you can use any type of AA to keep it running and also Pulsar uh, will shortly be bringing out um, their new rechargeable battery packs which is exactly the same shape uh, but you can recharge them so you don't have to worry about keep buying AA's. Um, you've got your eyepiece on the front here with a diopter adjustment and then a focus wheel on the front. Um, same old lens cap uh, from the front there and a weaver rail there which you can put on 
uh, whatever you really want to weaver wise um, such as the EPS3 battery pack that can go on there. Uh, on the bottom we've got this uh, this one socket which is uh, for use for powering video out go on it with those cables I showed you earlier and on the front we've got our menu select wheel um, which you just push in uh, and hold in to access your menus and then twist it to navigate through. So you know same design as the the previous model uh, but there are some significant differences in the way it works uh, sensor wise range wise zoom wise uh, and we're going to talk about those next. So the XQ50 has a frame rate of 50 hertz which is going to give you a really nice smooth image as you're moving it about and its resolution is 384 by 288 pixels. The display resolution is a 640 by 480 display which is going to give you a really nice clear display when you're using it. Magnification wise this is one of the things that really differs from the previous model. It's got a 4.1 times optical zoom uh, which will take you up to 16.4 times uh, on a digital zoom. So digital zoom is it stepped in increments using the button with a square on it which will give you two times, three times and four times. And all this coming through a 42 millimeter objective lens, which is going to give you a really nice clear picture all the time. It will deal with close up distances of up to seven meters and has a detection range of 1800 meters. And again, this is where it differs from the XD50S, which was only going to give you an up to 1250 meter detection. It takes four AA batteries and it can be used with external power supplies such as the EPS3 or the brand new rechargeable battery carrier. The whole unit is entirely waterproof and weighs just under half a kilo. One of the other benefits of the XQ50 is the ease at which you can activate the rangefinder on it. It's not a laser rangefinder, but rather it's a stadiometric rangefinder which uses bracketing to work out the ranges of um, certain animals depending on their size. It deals with small, medium and large animals uh, and is activated by a single press of the button with a cross on it as opposed to going through the menus like you had to on the XD50S. What you can also do on this, this particular model, you can change uh, all the icon colours on the menus, so depending on which, which colour palette out of the seven that are available you choose to use, you can change your menu colours to make things easier to read. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this out in the field, we're going to see what wildlife we can spot with it, see how just how good it's going to be, uh, and we'll see how we get on. We're going to be recording the footage uh, through the Yukon NPR recorder attached to this, uh, so you'll be able to see everything that we're seeing.
So I hope you've enjoyed all the footage uh, that we just got for you there. Uh, the XQ50 is just a lovely, lovely piece of kit. Uh, the XQ range also includes an XQ38, which has got a smaller lens, slightly less magnification, uh, but still a lovely uh, spotter to use. Um, but having said that, Pulsar have always turned out really nice thermal spotters. Uh, the XD50S, the XD38 were, were fantastic, and the HD range before that as well. Uh, but this is the latest iteration absolutely fantastic um, they are going to be available from scott country international from the end of july um, so get on the website pre-order now and uh, get yours in the post so thanks for watching we'll see you again next time